Hello. Today, we will learn how to make a backup image of a computer so that if it should become corrupted and not boot, we can recover it from a working image we made earlier. Many laptops come with a recovery CD, but it only recovers you back to the original installation. You will have to reinstall every piece of software you ever installed in the past, all over again, which can take hours or days in some cases. If you learn this approach you can recover back to a time where most, or all the software you had installed, will still be there after the recovery, saving you a lot of effort. Being able to make an image of your computer's hard disk is essential if you want to properly restore yourself back to a time when your computer was working normally. We will be using a laptop on Windows 7 in this example but this will work on desktop computers and many other operating systems too. If your computer gets infected with a virus, or, trojan, being able to restore it to an earlier clean image will wipe out all traces of these infections. We will be using Acronis True Image 2010 in this example because it is the easiest and most functional program I know about. It costs about $30. Please do not think this is too difficult to do, it is not. Just follow along. I will assume you have already installed Acronis TI as it is simple to install. I will be creating an image outside of Windows, simply because I think it is faster. It can be created while Windows is running too. It is cheaper, if you make your own image backups rather than pay some tech guys to make rummage through your personal files if they are nosy. We will start off by making a rescue boot CD, so you need a blank CD available. CDR type is fine. Firstly, we go to Tools and select Create Bootable Rescue Media. We put a blank CDR CD into the laptop CD or DVD drive. Click Next. Here, put a tick, or check mark, in each box. Click Next, and Next again. Select your CD slash DVD drive as shown and click Next. Check everything looks fine, and then click Proceed to burn Acronis True Image to your CD. Now we have created the boot disk. We can label it with a marker pen. I have attached an external Hitachi hard drive via USB cable to the laptop. Any external hard drive will be fine for this. This is where we will save everything on our computer to make the image. Click OK on the screen and shut down your computer. OK. 
so after making the boot CD we shut down the laptop and then turned it back on. The boot CD in the drive caused the laptop to boot into this acronous screen you see here. We are no longer in Windows, but rather in the acronous recovery environment. Operating system. Just to remind you again. We still have the Hitachi drive attached. Click on the first button, Acronus True Image Home. To get going. Do not click Windows or you will return to Microsoft Windows. We are now at the main screen, and we select the backup option, and then disk and partition backup. What this will do is take us to the partitions to backup screen. Basically, in Windows your C drive is also called a partition. It is a partition or section created inside a hard disk to store the Windows operating system. In my laptop, I have this partition as you can see, NTFS Windows, C, I also have a D data partition and system partition too. You may have similar. What you should do is just tick, or check everything there, under disk 2. Do not tick, disk 1, NTFS Hitachi as we are not backing it up, it is just our destination for the backup image. Do not back up sector by sector. That is only for adding or cloning a larger hard drive to your laptop. Click Next. Here we will be creating a new backup archive. This is where we tell it where we want to save the image file to. So click the Browse button, and we search for our external hard drive and select it. In this case, Hitachi, with F, has its drive letter. We must give our image file a name. I called mine my Windows image 2011, January, .tib. The .tib is the file extension name, meaning it is a true image backup file. Click OK, and then Next, on the box behind.